video and today we're going to be predicting the match day three results for the Premier League. So first game's Wall versus Man City. So we're going to say like a result each and then we're going to like talk about it probably. So for me, I'm going for a uh, 2-1 to Man City. Uh, obviously they're away from home. So yeah, what's yours? I've gone 2-2 um, Wolves Man City because um, the Wolves last game, I thought uh, Wolves were really unlucky. They hit like the crossbar like 50 times. Yes. Yeah. And Leicester scored like two deflected jammy goals. And I actually, I think that this is a Wolves game, and I reckon it's going to be a tight game. And I reckon they get a last minute winner, yeah. Jimenez, Jimenez. Yeah, Man City obviously just so class. So yeah, I reckon Man City, but Wolves, fair enough. Uh, second game is Southampton and Leicester. I've gone for 1 0 to Leicester. I've gone uh, 3 0 Leicester because I think. Mark Hughes is the worst manager in the Prem. He literally does nothing at all. And Southampton's players are pretty bad. Um, and But I think Leicester are playing decent. They played decent against Man United. Played a right against Wolves. So, you know. Yeah. But I reckon, obviously, I don't reckon Southampton do anything, though. Literally. Anyway, uh, game and three is... Oh, sorry, what? And there's no Vardy. Oh, yeah. He's just got his red card. So, <laughs> yeah. Game three is Arsenal and Everton... Uh, West Ham, sorry. Uh, Arsenal 2 0. I don't think West Ham are playing that well, considering they bought like a lot of players and new manager as well. But Arsenal obviously just lost to Chelsea, but I do think they'll get the win here and it's home. So yeah, 2 0 Arsenal. I've gone 1 0 Arsenal. I think Arsenal, they've both got new managers. They both they haven't like started their style of play that we want to. But I think it's going to be a, cl a close game and last minute goal yeah. again. Uh, I've gone for Bournemouth versus Everton. I put one all. I think Bournemouth have had a great start, like nobody expected really. Uh, they're both winning games, and Everton obviously signing lo loads of players, but um, obviously they're away from home. So I put one one, just because Bournemouth are going off to a good start. I've gone um, two two uh, Bournemouth Leicester. They both had decent Everton. starts. Oh Everton, same thing. <laughs> Uh, I think Richarlison's literally worth the 40 mil. I know everyone says he's not, but I think he's going to be class this season. And I reckon he's going to score too. That's my prediction. Yeah, Richarlison's playing sick, literally. Uh, Liverpool versus Brighton. I've gone for a 2-0 to Liverpool. I think Liverpool started off well, obviously. Everyone thinks it's either them or Man City. And then, uh, yeah, I just think 2-0. And Brighton, obviously, on the win against Man United, but I don't think they'll be able to beat Liverpool. I didn't expect them to beat Man United either. I've gone three to Liverpool because I think Brighton will keep up the form. I know it's away and it's at Liverpool, but I reckon Glen Glen Murray's pretty good for his age. So three two. Yeah, Huddersfield versus Cardiff. This is obviously we're both Cardiff fans, so we we're probably I don't know about Tim. I haven't seen his yet, but uh, I'm biased. And I'm going to say one 0 Cardiff away from home. We're actually going. I'll be uh, putting the match day vlog out. So uh, yeah, one 0 Cardiff. I think we, we should have got the win against Newcastle, even that uh, like pen save, but I think we sh still should have won. Played awesome, but yeah. Anyway, that's my prediction. I've gone 2 1 Cardiff. I know I'm a Cardiff fan, but Huddersfield lost last week 6 1 to Man City. I know it's Man City, but it's still quite bad, conceding 6. So I think uh, the team spirit's going to be down for Huddersfield, and we get 2 1. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Watford, Crystal Palace. It's gonna be. I reckon it's gonna be a close one. But I think with Watford's form and uh, obviously them playing home, two one to Watford. I've gone for. I've gone for one one. Uh, Watford and Crystal Palace. I don't think. I think Watford have had a good start. Uh, considering yeah. selling with Charleston and stuff like that. But I, I thought Crystal Palace had a good start too. They uh, they played still good against Liverpool. Yeah, Zaha's looking good as well. Um. Fulham and Burnley. Fulham versus Burnley. I've gone for one all. I think that'll be a very close game, actually. Uh, Fulham are home, so maybe we could nick it, but I've actually put one all. I've gone 2 0 Fulham because Burnley played yesterday, lost 3 1, I think, Olympiacos. And most of uh, first 11 was playing, so I don't think they'll be fit enough, so they'll probably put up the second team. And Fulham looked decent against. Uh, Tottenham, yeah, even uh, and then yeah. I think all the players, uh, all the new signs are uh, starting to play well. Yeah, next one is Newcastle versus Chelsea. Uh, this is for me, this is such an easy win for Chelsea, not being rude to Newcastle, but they didn't play very well at all against us. Against Cardiff, obviously, they had the chance to take it at the end, they didn't. Kennedy was shocking, 
Just Newcastle just didn't seem like a great team. So Chelsea away from home put three 0 I also put three 0 but it's good for Newcastle because Kennedy can't play against Chelsea because he play he's on he's from Chelsea on loan, which is I think would be better for them. Yeah. And yeah, easy win for Chelsea. Yeah. Last game then, Man United versus Tottenham, probably the biggest of the weekend. Uh, it's going to be a good clash, but with Man United not doing great at all, I think they're, I don't know, Mourinho out, but anyway, uh, I've put Tottenham 2-1, they just beat Fulham as well, so it could be on like a high note, so yeah, 2-1 to Tottenham. I've gone 3-1 Tottenham, because I think Mourinho's the, uh, so moody, and I think none of the players like him at all, and they, they're, they're, just, they're, just playing for, they're not even playing for the team, they're just playing for money. So I've gone 3-1 Tottenham. Yeah, Kane hat trick. Fair enough. Right, that is it. Uh, put down in the comments what you uh, predicted or like uh, if we got any right. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Peace.